Hey, it's Paul Massetta, and today I want to give you three tips to handling difficult conversations. So look, we've all had those situations where we got to have a conversation with somebody that we just don't want to have. Maybe somebody did something to offend us, and it's been bothering us, and so we need to kind of get it off our chest. Maybe it's an employee that has been underperforming or not living up to their potential or just not doing their job and you need to have a conversation with them about improving it or maybe even letting them go. Or maybe it's just about like a relationship that you're in with somebody that's not going the way you thought it was going to go and so you need to have a difficult conversation with them, right? And so, look, this is all part of being an expert communicator. Expert communicators don't avoid these type of things, right? These type of situations just because they're difficult. They embrace them and they come out a better person because of it um, and that's what makes them an expert communicator. So the very first thing that you need to do whenever you're about to have an, a difficult conversation is to anticipate the, the resistance or the difficulties or the pain points that are going to come up in the conversation, right? So you want to constantly be thinking about, okay, if I say this to this person, right, what is their perspective going to be? What are they going to come back to me with, right? And that's another part of this is you always want to put yourself in that person's shoes regardless of like how upset you may be at them or how disappointed you may be in them. You want to put yourself in their shoes before you have the conversation with them because this is going to help you do two things. Number one, it's going to help you anticipate things that they're going to say to you right? So possible objections or rebuttals or arguments that they may make to you, right? The second thing is that I found oftentimes that sometimes when I do this, I tap into a perspective that they have, which justifies something that they did that previously like pissed me off or made me angry. So a person might have done something or said something that really got me upset, but when I do this exercise, it kind of pieces things together for me and I realize, okay, the reason why that person said this was because of this, so now that's not even worth talking about at this point, right? That's not even like worth having a conversation about because I already understand their point of view on it and I can actually use that in the conversation with them to let them know that I understand exactly where they're coming from so that they see that I pick and choose my battles, that I'm not just attacking them, right, for, for the sake of attacking them, right? The second thing that you wanna do whenever you are having a difficult conversation is you wanna always stick to the facts, okay? Because oftentimes what's gonna happen is people are going to rationalize their behavior or they're going to try to justify their behavior and they might in the context of doing that either twist the truth or twist the context in which the situation happened. Now look, sometimes uh, they, they genuinely misunderstood the context. So sometimes they're, they're relating it back to you and they saw the situation in a completely different way and sometimes they're just outright lying about it because they don't want to admit that they're wrong. And so you need to be aware of this and make sure that you have all of your facts in place and in order and in your mind so that you can bring it up to them, right? So if a person denies saying something, you could just simply ask them, well, didn't you say X, Y, Z the last time we were at lunch together, you told me that you had an issue with this person or that you didn't like this or that you had a problem with this, right? You could always kind of bring up that fact or that evidence to remind them of what they said or to remind them of the context in which they said it in. And the last thing that you want to do is you always want to have a resolution in mind. Right, So whenever you're going to have a difficult conversation with somebody, it shouldn't just be about to pick a fight with them or to make them feel stupid or to let them know that you've got their number and you figured them out. Like, look, there are certain times and situations where that's appropriate, but for the most part, you know, when I, tell, when I talk to people about being persuasive and, and being a better communicator, what I always say is 
You have to ask yourself, this is a fundamental question you have to ask yourself in the very beginning of when you start studying this stuff, is do you want to be right or do you want to be persuasive? Because oftentimes those are two completely different things and it, 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 there's a big paradigm shift that needs to happen when people are starting to become better communicators. Oftentimes you need to shift what you're saying from all about you being right and proving that person wrong to becoming persuasive. And so part of that is you need to think about, well, what's the end result that I want to get here? What's the, what's the resolution that I want to get? Do I just want to walk away letting that person know, like, look, I got your number and I proved you wrong and I'm right and you're wrong and I'm better than you and I'm smarter than you? Or do you want to walk away with a resolution, meaning where you both see eye to eye on something and this difficult conversation is now behind you and you both understand what needs to happen moving forward so that you don't have to have this conversation again. So once again, make sure you put yourself in that person's shoes before you have the conversation with them because that will enable you to anticipate any possible objections or counter arguments they're gonna give you. It'll also give you the opportunity to maybe see something you may have missed before. The second thing that you wanna do is always stick to facts when you are having these conversations with people. And number three is always have a resolution in mind and work toward that resolution. So look, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like, Give me a subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when I upload more videos like this.